How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're here watching this video and I appreciate that. With that said, I wanted to go ahead and show you my experience with this uh, situation that I'm in right now. So long story short, I kind of joined a lot of Facebook groups like Transit MTV, SoCal Downhill, San Diego Bike Parts and stuff like that, which I highly recommend. Even if you're not into like the whole Facebook messaging thing, it's kind of cool to be in the loop with the mountain bike scene like in your local area. For example, for me, is the San Diego community. So I've been kind of looking to upgrade my wheels. My wheels are currently kind of beat up. They're the M1700s, which have taken a pretty good beating already. Um, so today I woke up and there was actually a post in the San Diego mountain bike parts. Um, there's a guy named Hunter. I guess he builds wheels now. He used to work for a shop or works at a shop and he kind of wants to start his own little business such as wheel building. So I also want to say that I've been talking to him and he said he's okay to be on camera. So we're going to go ahead and drive over there, pick up my wheels. They're actually done the same day that I ordered them. Okay, so now let's go pick up my wheels and uh, let's see how it goes with Hunter. So Hunter, Yo. how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, dude. Elbow. Elbow, hey, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good, Your man. dogs, you? friendly? Yeah, she's awesome. Oh, uh, cool, man. Are you scared of dogs? You good? Nah, no, I'm good, dude. I All love cool. dogs, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's awesome. up, fellas? So, this is Hunter. He's a cool dude, man. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, so you worked on my wheels? Oh, yeah, damn. man. So, here you go. I wrap yeah. them back up. Come on, take them back off. Oh, that's sick, man. So, yeah, is he working another wheel set right now? Yeah, this is uh, for a guy coming to pick him up tomorrow. Just black hydros and then orange nipples. That's sick, dude. The orange nipples look hard. Yeah, they're nice. Sick, and then, man. Got some green ones to do. Some DTs. Nice, bro. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your wheel building skills and what you're about? Yeah, so I've been building wheels uh, for about a year now. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to, like, you know, I've been working for a couple companies, um, building wheels for them. And there just wasn't, there's just like a bunch of things I didn't really vibe with in their company. So I decided to kind of take it upon myself to start up my own thing. Cool, um, cool. You know, I know what I like as a rider. Um, and I like to be able to fine tune things like that and like customize my wheels. You know, I've always heard and like I completely agree that the wheel set is the number one best thing you can do to upgrade your bike. There's no one local that I knew that, you know, does wheel building and can like, where I could bring my wheels to and like fix them up. And I wanted to do that for people. Things go wrong, you break a spoke, your hub needs to be serviced, uh, bend a rim, crack a carbon rim, um, all things like that, you know what I mean? You can just like come over here and like, I can just quickly fix it up for you. And like, that's kind of like what I wanted to like do is so I wanted to like have a place where like my friends could come and like I could fix up their bike for them really That's quick awesome, where man. they don't have to wait like three weeks at a shop. I've been building wheels for a while, but this is the first like entry to our company. Dude hit me up and like, you know, I was super stoked that he like asked me to do this video and I'm super stoked to like show you guys these wheels. This is like the official, like official, official first wheel built under the company name Laced Up Cyclery. Sick. And um, beautiful set of wheels. Uh, Stance Flow EX3s, the I9 Hydras. And these are a 32 hole uh, international standard, which is the six bolt rotor. Um, and yeah, he just kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, like what this looks like and the points of engagement on this. Everyone likes, everyone likes that sound. Yep, you gotta love yeah, it. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, man, but uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you, man, taking the time and doing them so quick, dude. Yeah, yeah. he hit me up today and uh, built him up right here for him today. That's kind of the cool thing about just like having like this little startup thing and being really small is like, we're not pushing, like dude, every shop in San Diego right now is three weeks out on service. Like you can yeah, barely is. even yeah. get your bike in. And um, I wanted to like, you know, have the ability to like, uh, help people out right now and uh, that's what we're doing and like we're selling these at seven hundred and sixty dollars um, for with, 29er? Yeah for 29er for 27.5 um, any Stance Flow EX3 with a high, with any color Hydra Hub is going to be seven hundred and sixty dollars and that's with competition race double butted spokes and usually people charge extra for that and I also can do any color um, nipple I do have a pair over there that has some colors on them um i got like you know there's there's like 15 different nipple colors um this thing's built from the ground up um it's only built with like the highest end parts um and we're bringing it to you at like a really really good price and then there's just the beauty of a hand-built wheel um you know it's properly tensioned because we check every single spoke before we send it out um it's just you know it's just all around it's just solid wheel um yeah and we're just super stoked to like be starting this up and hit us up so if you're in san Diego county you want some wheels Built right and pretty quick. He got down, man. He got down really quick, just in a couple hours. He had all the parts in stock and got him done. 
Uh, where can people reach you at, bro? Yeah, you can hit me up on my cell phone, uh, 760-505-5441. Um, and that's just honestly the best way to get a hold of me. Either text me or call me. I pretty much answer any time of the day. Like I said, I appreciate you taking the time and building my wheels. I'm freaking stoked to try these out. Getting rid of the weak wheels that I have now. And thank you so much, bro. Yeah, dude. Okay, so it's the next day. The homie Hunter was pretty chill. Got my wheels last night. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, slap them on today but before i slap these wheels on today i'm gonna go ahead and do some testing see if i can see how long this hub spins you know compared to the hydra i'm gonna do just 10 cranks and this is probably not the best way to do this but uh it should give us a rough estimate if the bearings on the hydra spin longer than the used m1700s okay here we go i got my stopwatch ready i took off the uh, brake caliper so that way you know the brake doesn't rub or anything like that and mess up with this so let's give it 10 cranks starting right now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm gonna cut the camera so that way it's not boring and then we'll get back to this okay we're back it's at 105 right now still spinning and let's see how it goes I'm gonna stop it right when it stops so we're gonna call it a 123 like I said this isn't very scientific we're gonna go ahead and slap on these tires insert into the hydras um, also have 23 PSI in the rear and 22 in the front. I'm not gonna spin the front because I'm pretty sure they're almost identical, if anything. Okay, let's find out how much the rear wheel weighs with the rotor, cassette, everything. Looks like it's at six pounds, even. So let's uh, weigh the front now. Okay, the front wheel looks like it's at five pounds, even, not too shabby. Okay, so between both wheels is a total of 11 pounds with the both wheels. So let's go ahead and slap everything over to the nine nice, make them exactly like this. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight for the win. This thing's badass, 90 bucks. Harbor Freight, sponsor me. Remember, star pattern is what you wanna do. Okay, so according to the Magura website, it looks like the rotors are four new meters. I usually do at a five, but I guess I'm gonna stick with the torque specs that they provide me. Okay, we're making progress. I kinda had to take a little break, take a little lunch, hang out with the kids for a little bit. So if your wheel builder knows what he's doing, you should be able to look through the stem hole and see the logo of the hub. I guess I read that somewhere and this guy got it spot on. You can see this Industry 9 logo right through the stem. Good job, Hunter. Okay, here we go, got the wheel on. Lined up the logo with the rim logo as well. You know, that's something we usually do. Looks nice. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, give it 10 cranks and then see how long it lasts. Actually, let me get the, the stopwatch going. Make sure that I'm recording right now. Yes, I am. So it's 123 with the uh, DT Swiss. Let's see how much it is with the uh, Hydra i9. So we're gonna do 10 pedal strokes. That's as best as I can do, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna let it run off camera. I'm not gonna record this whole thing. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stop it right when it stops. 54 seconds. Isn't that crazy? It pro obviously has um, less paw. Oh, actually, you know what? The DT Swiss don't have paws. They have that ratcheting system. This has six paws, I believe. I might be wrong. I think it is six paws. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little title on there. But uh, obviously, it has six paws, so there's more resistance on it since there's more things to grab onto the hub itself. So just you know, to give it benefit of the doubt, we're gonna go ahead and give it another run and see what it does. Okay, we're almost to the end of it. 42 seconds. 43. 44. Fifty-two seconds. 
Okay, so that's pretty crazy. I mean, it's not really surprising. There's obviously more resistance because of the six paws on this. So that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so starting to get a little dark, so I kind of have to hurry up a little bit. Here's the front wheel. Let this calibrate zero. Okay, it looks like it's saying 5.4, 5.4. So almost five and a half pounds. Okay, here we go. Let's do the rear wheel now. See if I can balance this on there. And it looks like a 6.4. So it looks like it weighs a little more. Honestly, when I took off the tires on the other one, it was about like half of what the ceiling should be at. So I think these weigh about identical to each other. So that's pretty good. So DT Swiss M1700s with inserts. The right amount of sealant should weigh about the same as I9s. And yeah, the only difference is that these are a little heavier duty on the hoops. And I believe the spokes as well compared to that. So you get a higher performance with about the same amount of weight. Okay, so let's go ahead and slap this on the bike and then see how they feel on the trail. All right, here we go. We're at Greer, testing out the I-9. Just like going up this and hitting like little chattery stuff on the way up. I do feel the stiffness already of the wheel. Obviously it's brand new. I'm not sure if wheels have to settle in. I'm pretty sure they do. Just like with everything that's new, but it feels really good. The gangsman feels super smooth, like the pedaling feels really buttery smooth like butter on a hot skillet so smooth um so far i don't notice the difference in the resistance as you guys saw on the spin test <clears throat> the m1700s spun a little longer than these and i don't know if i said it before but it makes sense this thing has six paws there's six paws way yeah. yeah six paws and the other one, I believe, well, like I said, it doesn't have paws. It was a ratchet system from DT Swiss with only like 54 uh, teeth of engagement. There's actually a little spot that I want to test the engagement on on the way up. The little section I was talking about. Whew. Yep. No problem there. Here we go. Another techie climb. A little bit loose. See how it feels. Ooh, buttery smooth. Whew. Nice. Have a good ride, fellas. All right, here we go. First ride down some I 9 hubs. Whew. So, I'm not trying to go for speed right now. I'm just trying to see if I can feel any difference in the stiffness of the wheel. All right. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Whew. Oh. All right, see how it feels coming off the burrs or pedaling? Instant engagement. Oh. Yeah, I like that so far. <laughs> Did it not rock that on? Okay, first jump on the new wheels. <laughs> Nose heavy. Woo! That felt great. Okay, another some chunky section. Oh yeah, feel good. Feels so smooth. All right, first initial thought. It definitely feels a lot more. I want to say connected, just like I feel like with the Mac pads. Reason being is like, when you hit chunky stuff, your feet are going like this. And I felt like I was always like in the engagement, you know, like it wasn't like a clink, 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 clink kind of thing. It was just smooth. Like the minute I wanted to pedal, it started pedaling, you know, and that's, that felt really good. It just feels really, really smooth all the way around. On chunky stuff, I, I don't know what it is, but I expected it to be a lot more chattery. It definitely felt a, more, a lot more like thumps than than clanks. I don't know how to, how to explain that, but it just feels feels really, really freaking good. I like it. So yeah, let's go back up, do another trail. 
Okay, here we go, double D. I'll follow you in here. Yeah. Pull the shot on this one. Okay, we're done with the ride for today. Um, yeah, I definitely felt the difference on the climbing. It felt a lot smoother and then coming out of the berms, like, you know, it's just a in, almost instant engagement. It's really noticeable. Um, on Chunky Sanction is also noticeable. Like it's, it feels really good. Like you feel like planted. So yeah, if you want to get some wheels done, go ahead and hit up Hunter. He's a really cool dude. He also ships out. So give him a call if you have any questions. Once again, thank you guys for riding and thank you Hunter for building these badass wheels. See you later, man, and uh, we'll see you guys on the trail.